The irony is that censorship never works. Censorship sells. Uh, it doesn't suppress. When you have these inflammatory headlines, people are going to react, um, just like they reacted to things in the 80s. And uh, you know, the, the same kind of thing happened with Robert Maplethorpe at the Corcoran. I've worked at venues where I couldn't go down to pasties, where I couldn't show you know, me in all my glory, where I had to PG-13 it up. My views on censorship is that uh, this is coming from a power structure, a conservative power structure within uh, an institution or the government. It's trying to protect us from ourselves. Uh, it's, uh, censorship is a judgment uh, by certain officials that uh, you can't look at something, you can't see something. Uh, no matter how adult you are, you can't make up your own mind. Uh, Robert Maplethorpe was a highly celebrated, very, very successful uh, photographer uh, in, at the end of the, the 20th century. Maplethorpe was gay, and he had what he called the black portfolio, which were images of what, at that point, were really shocking uh, pictures of uh, uh, homosexual sexual life. What happened here was that there was a major retrospective of his work uh, that started at the University of Pennsylvania and moved uh, around the country and came to Washington. It was done in a way that the curators of the show felt that the only responsible thing, if you were doing a, a lifelong retrospective, you couldn't just uh, uh, present the most acceptable, uh, the, the tamest part of his work. We were at a cocktail party uh, and sitting next to me was the lady who was a major sponsor of the show. That very day we had received, as had a large portion of the commun artistic community in Washington, a postcard inviting us to the opening of the Maplethorpe show. This lady said, Jim, you can't believe it. The Corcoran has just canceled the Maplethorpe show. I said, what? I said uh, to the lady, well, if I know you gave a big bundle of money to the Corcoran, can I get that bundle of money for the Washington Project for the Arts and we'll do the show? And for 150 years, there have been attempts to limit books and magazines, and then in the 20th century, uh, films and now video and live performances, as one has here in Arguendo. And the reality is, whatever efforts you make to deny uh, a mature audience the opportunity uh, to see what that audience wants, it's going to fail. What gets people's blood pressure up is that the artist has uh, the, uh, the courage and, and the capacity to take on conventional, uh, established uh, mores.